Storm Team meteorologist Brooks Garner is watching it closely. Yeah, and Brooks, we're also calling tomorrow a storm alert day. Yes, tomorrow we could see severe storms across the region during the afternoon in the evening. Damaging straight line wind gusts and even a few isolated tornadoes. So that is for tomorrow. We could see the first hint of severe weather tonight across north central Florida in the Panhandle. The storms we're getting right now, the storms we'll have through at least 9 o'clock tonight are non-severe. They're just downpours associated with the change in the air mass, but we certainly have some heavy rain here across Lake County working into eastern Marion County. It is really pouring right now right on Max Hooks Road and all the way up to the Turnpike here heading up toward Orange Blossom. This stuff moving out of Groveland going northeast at about 15 miles per hour. We just had some downpours in the Villages area. It's now moving into eastern sections of Marion County with some very heavy rain now right across Forest Lakes Park, Big Scrub, and Starks Ferry. You could very well see a little bit of ponding on the roadways. Here's a live view from Salt Springs right now. Uh, the sun glistening on some raindrops in the lens. The sky's ominous, our weather stem network, and juxtaposed with this Kissimmee Lakefront Park shot. Just a beautiful day and 83 degrees at that location right now with the lighthouse in view. Daytona Beach also looking great right now. So things are going to change, though. You see all this weather back here in the Gulf of Mexico. This is coming our way over the next 24 hours. Right now it's 83 degrees in Sanford. It is 83 in Orlando. Down from highs today, about 85 degrees. This front back to our west, about 200 miles, is eventually going to swing through tomorrow night. And in doing so, bring severe weather in a two-tiered stage. The first tier tonight across the Nature Coast, north central Florida. The second tier tomorrow evening across central Florida, where Orlando is. But until then, we're in the warm zone. Our Fox Mall doing a great job describing how that warm air will stay in place and the front will stay west tomorrow. By the way, the Fox model is exclusive to Fox 35. You can only get it here. It's our future satellite and radar. Very accurate product. Anyway, does a great job depicting as well the front moving through tomorrow night and cooler air moving into the region for Super Bowl Sunday with highs only in the 60s. But yes, tomorrow will be in the 80s. So here's a look at a, a closer view of the future radar. Tonight at 8 o'clock, that line of storms rolls up through Daytona Beach, Sanford, and eventually Brevard County. And overnight, we'll be watching this area from Levy County to Dixie County, up through Gilchrist County and Alachua County, right through 6 a.m. for the possibility of a couple of severe thunderstorms and the potential of a few water spouts moving ashore from the Gulf of Mexico. Otherwise, tomorrow for Central Florida will be a dry day. It'll be a dry, warm, and breezy Saturday until the evening, right about sunset, about 6 to 7 o'clock. A few isolated storms could form, and it's these storms forming way out ahead of the main line that could rotate and produce an isolated tornado. So we'll have to watch out for that possibility through 8 o'clock tomorrow evening, especially places like Volusia County where the East Coast Sea Breeze could get involved. But the main line of severe storms pushing through around midnight tomorrow night would be straight line wind gusts as the main threat, followed by a breezy and cooler Sunday. Now, as far as future tornado chances go, this is a special product you can only see here that shows uh, a very good illustration of what's called the Energy Helicity Index. It's a mouthful, but it's a quick way to get an idea of where storms would most likely be rotating. That would be in this yellow area from Sumter County to Lake County through the early afternoon, then working into Marion County and eventually areas to the northeast like St. John's and Flagler counties through 8 o'clock. But of interest through 8 o'clock, we may have a couple of pockets in Seminole and Volusia counties before that threat finally passes. So we look at a lot of things here in the Fox 35 Storm Center to bring you the latest information to help you make decisions to stay safe. And that's why tomorrow is a Fox 35 Storm Alert Day. High of 85 followed by 68 for Super Bowl Sunday. And the look ahead to Valentine's Day, delightful weather. Mid and upper 80s returning for late next week and another chance for some storms by this time next week. All right, let's look at the weather forecast.